John Schaefer is our guest. You know what I like, John, is that there is you're showing so much range here, and I think now you need to be the lead singer of Ice Earth, not just the founder. I'm not I'm not knocking your other lead singer. He sounds great, but I mean, there's a lot of range. These songs, you know, sound different from each other. I mean, you have a lot of, uh, I mean, not just talent, obviously, but a huge range. I. Man, I don't even know where it came from. I mean, I always heard this stuff in my head, but actually, I don't have the range that that I would like to have, and that's one of the reasons that I never even considered doing vocals in Ice Earth. Well, I meant range of styles, not just range of voice. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I, I mean, different genre sounds of heavy metal, or, or, or I mean, that that song's great. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of different vibes too, and I mean, Ice Earth's got a huge catalog, and there's a lot of different vibes in it, but. I'm not a musician, so I'll use all the wrong terms. Nah, it's okay. You no know, range with voice and stuff. I mean, I meant just different. Whole different sounds. Yeah, it, it does. I, I mean, I used a different for indentured servitude. I used a Telecaster through a, a low watt amp. That, I've never done that before on any Ice Earth record, but it just it felt right, you know. So it's like there's there's some different experimental things going on here. We're gonna go out with my favorite, Jekyll Island. Get it free right now. It's Sons Dash Dash uh, Sons Dash of Dash Liberty dot com. Links up at Infowars dot net dot net can't get anything right here today here it is up at infowars.com and prisonplanet.com we just got introed uh, there with we the people we're going to go out with we the people and uh, this time has run out i'll be back live sunday but i'm gonna get some closing comments from you john again we're honored you're here and very thankful for the great contribution you've made towards fighting the, uh, the tyranny and waking folks up and setting brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere sunday 4 to 6 p.m in the aftermath of copenhagen we don't know how bad this agreement's going to be. It's got the global government and the global tax, but it's only got two of the global taxes in it. We'll know Sunday what happened, 4 to 6 p.m. Be sure and join us, and we'll be back live Monday, ladies and gentlemen, as well. So, uh, John, again, great to have you here. The guys are going to take you out and show you around Austin. i got family in town. I wish we could hang out. Uh, but certainly I want to ask you to come back to Austin when you get back from tour uh, in the next three or four months because I really like what you're doing and want to work with you more. But in closing, we got four minutes left. You've got the floor. Uh, John Schaefer, founder of Iced Earth and Sons of Liberty, launching his free album today for you. Take advantage of it, folks. A new weapon in the info war. John Schaefer. I guess my my biggest thing is that I'm pleading for people to be open minded, you know, about this and to get 
try to break free from the left-right paradigm because it's a fraud. You know, I don't care about the rhetoric. You know, the, don't don't trust what these people say. You need to watch what they do. You need to watch their actions. And it, it's becoming more and more clear to me that uh, that things are clearly not what they seem. So I, I'm just begging people to think outside of the box a little bit. You know, learn learn what it means to be an American. You know, study the Constitution. Go back. Study the founders. Look, they warned us everywhere about this exact thing that's going on. I mean, your dad warned us. You were talking about your dad when you were a kid talking uh, about this. Yeah. He, yeah. And I mean, I was really young then. And at some point, I think maybe the burden was a little bit too much and he just didn't talk about it. And maybe he stopped getting involved in it. I'm not sure about that. I just remember at some point we didn't, you know, I didn't hear about it, that kind of stuff anymore. But I know there that he had big concerns. I mean, I remember him, you know. We'd go into a department store, maybe it was Christmas shopping or whatever, and they would the cashier would ask for his social security number, and he would just like go off. You know, I mean, he he was not a big fan of of this whole control. He understood it. I remember Bobby Vaughn since dying of a brain tumor. Friends of my dad coming over, popping a six pack of beer after work when I was like five, six, seven, and talking about the new world order and the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and the global currency and the and how they were going to tax everything environmentally. And it, they had all the documents. And, of course, my dad wasn't really a member of the JBS. In high school, he'd given some speeches to conservative groups. But I remember the JBSers coming over to the house. And so I, I, I think those are seeds, again, sure. that were planted that later awakened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, you go back and watch what Robert Welch said in the 70s, you know, like warning. And, and it's happening. It's what they're doing. So, and notice how they get attacked by people, by COINTELPRO saying they're feds. No, judge a tree by its fruits. The JBS has done a great job. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm going to be joining that society here shortly. So, um, because I, I just think that it's this whole thing, it's, you, you got to give it to them. It's ingenious. You know, there's no doubt. And, um, they have pulled off something that, uh, I think we're living in the most historic times on on the planet, actually, right now. I mean, this is big stuff, and people. We're actually blessed to be alive now. I th I agree. I mean, God test us, man. This is our metal. We're given all this decadence to make us stand down while this scientific dictatorship comes in. Will we have the strength to wake up and put it down and slay the dragon? I uh, I think we do, and I actually, you know, the, the funny thing is, I always in interviews when people would ask me if you could time travel, where would you go? And I always said to the American Revolution, I, w I've been, I felt like I was born in the wrong time period for most of my life. I mean, when I was a little kid, that's the way my room was decorated. I, I didn't have... Uh, but that was your destiny, John, in closing, because you are in the second 1776. Yes. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today.